Today, we are visiting Llanstafan Castle. The current castle, built sometime after 1100 by the invading Normans, sits on a much older Iron Age promontory fort. It looks out onto the estuary of the river Towie. In its day, it was a formidable defensive position because the only approach possible was via the steep hillside that at the time was stripped of trees, making the attacking soldiers vulnerable to archers. As you can see just from this bit here, it is really quite steep a hill to climb up, especially if you're wearing full armour. One of the nice things about castles, one of the things that I find interesting about them at any rate, is that you can see, sometimes quite clearly, how use of the building has changed over the years. Now, this is a prime example. This used to be the gatehouse, but now there's no gate in it. There's no doorway. The doorway is now over there. But you can still see the old doorway because it was lined with a different type of stone. You can quite clearly see the arch up at the top. Maybe that's just me, but I find that fascinating. Behind me you can see the current entrance way, and above you can see where the gate would have been. Of course there's no gate there now, but there are all the holes and dinks and what have you to show where the gate once was. luck with the weather seems to be improving the sun's coming out which is great because this castle looks cracking in the sunshine so it does at one point there would have been a lot of buildings in here people would have been living in here and it would have been quite a lot of people living in here so you need a lot of room for them all to live and work and you know do the things that they do whatever it is that they do this is pretty much the earliest part of the castle that remains. It's the former gatehouse. Now this would have been predated by a timber structure and then this was built along with a round tower and all that remains of the round tower now are the foundations. The rest of it has gone. Down there is the estuary. You'd have to be pretty determined to come up that way. As defensive positions go, this is the business. I am currently standing in the upper ward and the upper ward is quite small from the inside. It's got this, the ground floor, and then it's got two other levels. I would say a middle floor or an upper floor and perhaps a walkway along the top. So this is the West Tower. It's the first time I've been in the towers actually. Last time I went straight up the stairs and got stuck with the views. So this time I am exploring on the ground floor before I go all the way up to the top. I am now heading over to the North Tower. So there's quite a lot left of the North Tower in comparison to the West Tower. And that there is a doorway that you can no longer get up to. They've got some stairs in it. I'm too short to go up there. <laughs> I'm in the North Tower. It's quite interesting to read the room where I saw the stairs from the outside. That goes up to there. And then above that, you've got a doorway just up there. That's obviously where they come out. And this had three floors by the looks of it and possibly a walkway. Two of the floors have got fireplaces on, but there's these things stuck to the side of the wall and they're quite fancy and ornate. They look kind of like candle holders, but they're equidistant and they're four of them. And we're wondering whether they were candle holders or maybe some more fancy arch supports, for, you know, for decorative purposes. It can't be anything for roof purposes because they're just flimsy. I thought initially that the ruins with the brown tower and the rectangular room was the East Bastion. However, that there, possibly extending along this wall here, is the East Bastion. The Bastion is a fortification that is designed to be built at an angle from the main wall so that you can fire in any direction, which seems about right here to me because you can fire from this section or from a top there or you can fire from that way. So yes, this kind of makes sense. And in front of me now, I am walking towards what is possibly the end of that wall. There's all sorts of little snippets that are left. This is part of the gatehouse. And behind these gates, 
just to make sure that nosy people like me don't go in and hurt myself, is a spiral staircase. And some of the steps have been stolen away. Somebody's thought, you know what, that would make a nice lintel or door frame or something. Doorstep perhaps, who knows? But either way, because of the fact that somebody's thought, you know what, I'm having that, it's gone and so you can't go up there anymore and it's probably a good thing too because the floors inside the gatehouse are no longer there and this would lead up to those. This gatehouse was once upon a time the main accommodation for the Lord and Lady and it's a peculiar arrangement because this floor here had the holes for the portcullises to drop down to shut the gates which means that any time they wanted to open the gates you had portcullises sat in, well, I can only assume it was your living room. Upstairs would probably have been bedrooms. I mean, maybe that's the way they did it. I would have thought so. I mean, it's a bit odd, isn't it? Imagine sitting there in your living room and somebody wants to come in, so therefore you have to draw up two whacking great big portcullises. Can't imagine it was ideal with the sort of you know, keeping the cold out either. The other thing, of course, that every living room couldn't do without is the occasional murder hole. These were holes that you could pour stuff down through or maybe shoot through. What self-respecting living room doesn't need that, eh? So behind me now is the interior of the original gatehouse and you can see in the ceiling there are a series of murder holes which is quite fascinating because they've obviously kept that as a feature. And off to the side here, they are the guards' rooms. In the 15th century, apparently it became more important to have more comfortable accommodation than it did to have more fighting accommodation. So this was all made a bit more lavish, which could explain the uh, nice cushy interior of the North Tower there, but that might not have anything to do with it. However, let's go and have a look inside. This is the second of two chambers on the original inside of the gate. This one actually has a fireplace in it, the other one doesn't, which suggests that people who weren't liked very much were sent in that one. But the other one is a bit more spacious, so swings and roundabouts, I guess. A bit drippy, but quite nice. While the stairs on that side of the gatehouse have been robbed out, the stairs on this side of the gatehouse have fared somewhat better. So much so, in fact, that you can go all the way to the top of the tower and there are some stunning views up there. Mm -hmm. 